from Kings Island down near Cincinnati, Ohio. We're going to park and get on our first coaster rides of the year. We're going to eat some great food. They got some new offerings this year we're going to try to check out. Uh, the new area isn't quite open yet. They're still working on that. They said there's a few more weeks to go on that before it opens. But uh, there's much to do in this park. This is definitely one of my favorite parks. Uh, top five, ten parks, somewhere in there that I've been to. So uh, why don't you join us? Come on in. All right, over here at the Kings Island Theater, returning this year, more specifically, May 27th. They're having the Phantom Theater Encore is returning right there. So no show times obviously haven't been posted yet, but it opens May 27th of this year. You'll be able to check it out one more time. Get here 15 minutes early, as the sign says, because this one does fill up quick. It's a pretty popular show. I highly recommend checking this one out. It's a lot of fun. We really enjoyed it last year. All right, here I am at the legendary Beast roller coaster. It's just received a bunch of new track work this off season, so go give it a ride and I'll let you know how it is. got off the beast and hey, impressive it's running pretty good this year um, there's a lot of new wood I noticed on there but I can't tell if it was the new wood from last year or this year but uh, nonetheless either way it's running great um, there was none of the freaking bone rattling uh, potholes or anything like that it was uh, actually a really enjoyable ride so get out here to Kings Island and uh, get your rides in on the beast we're over here in the new Adventure Port area, and I gotta say, it looks really nice. They've uh, really spruced it up with some new colors, paint. Um, they rethemed all the eateries and stands and all that. Here's the Enrique's Cantina. And over here, you still had the Coke Freestyle. Um, now, I'm not seeing a sign up there yet, so they probably haven't gotten around to that, but uh, this is expected to open later this summer sometime. Um, over here, they got the retheming of Adventure Express. Here's some artwork that they have up. Cargo Loco. It's like a, a teacup style ride, but you sit in barrels. Right here, it looks like maybe the entrance of uh, Adventure Express area. Now, these are all just renderings, so it's not going to look exact like this on here, but. Uh, but yeah, he'll give you an idea. This is the Enrique's, it's right on the water. Then you have kind of an overview here of what it's gonna look like. With the Soul Spin ride and the Barrel ride, gonna be there. There's a picture of the Soul Spin. There. And kind of peek over the fence. They still got a little bit of work to go, but you'd be amazed how quick they can get this stuff up. I think this is the Soul Spin that's gonna be in this area. Right, here's a better look at the soul spin area right here so it looks like really all they have to do is uh add the ride and maybe a few theming elements so they got quite a bit done but they're not quite done yet if that makes sense all right just next to banshee here is the location for the new cargo loco ride right here this is the, uh, like I mentioned, it's like a tea cup style ride, but you sit in two barrels. And the fancy goes by there. And they got a little bit more work to go on this one here. But uh, it is coming along, just like the other. So, really excited to get back here later this summer. Um, we are going to be uh, attending the Coaster Stock event, so hopefully it'll be open by then. But. That's it. It's not a very large area, this venture port. It kind of starts over here by the Guess Your Weight uh, area. And it goes through by the Coke Freestyle and down just a little bit there where Outer Hanks used to be. So that's about it from Adventure Port right now. Looks like exciting things are on the horizon for this area of the park, and I'm really looking forward to, uh, to riding it. And Adventure Express as well. 
with all the additional theming that they're adding to the ride. So that's it. King's Island over in Rivertown and I went with the pub burger which is a double burger you got cheese there's tomato onion lettuce on there and it comes with potato barrels as well and I notice on here you got the chicken tenders and potato barrels and then we have the Caesar salad here too it's a pretty good sized Caesar salad the thing is huge it's like that big you can tell and my daughter she went with the pub burger as well so I'm gonna dig in and I'll let you know how it is. All right, just finished my burger here at the brew house. It was delicious. Ate every last bite of it. Very good. Everybody pretty much ate most of their food. Um, highly recommend this place. This is good food, great menu, a little bit of everything for everyone. So that's again the brew house here at Kings Island. Okay, here we are in the former subway location and as you can see subway is no more totally gone wiped off the place of the planet i'm uh, not sure what they're going to replace this location with but as of now it is completely empty at the former Chick-fil-A location which has now become Tom and Chi. Uh, today is opening day unfortunately it's not open quite yet it's not ready as you can see they do have a sign that says opening here soon but well, here's a quick overview of the menu oh man the mac and cheese one looks delicious I'm gonna have to come back sometime this year and try that they have soup mac and cheese fruit chips of course all the uh, um, uh, sandwiches and then they have a grilled cheese donut so it's a grilled cheese sandwich but on a donut and a s'more version of it and a killer brownie for dessert so they have all kinds of options for you here at Chom and Tom and Chi which is in the old um, Chick-fil-a location not too far from the Eiffel Tower right here Island is complete without blue ice cream. That's right. Mm. Oh my god, this stuff is so good. When you are at Kings Island, make sure you get the blue ice cream. This stuff is absolutely amazing. You will not be disappointed. For your life charlie brown it's uh parks log flume ride and it looks like they're getting ready to start it up for the season this is what it looks like empty right here um, before they uh turn on the water 
you can see, it's roughly three feet deep. And right there, and that way. So let's check it out. They're about to turn the water on. And here comes the water. that's gonna do it from Kings Island tonight we had a great time it was such a wonderful time here opening day we got on pretty much every coaster there's only a couple we didn't get on because they were having issues at the time but we'll be back tomorrow to do them we had some great food we ate in the brew house we had of course skyline chili you can't come here without that the blue ice cream everything it was just all amazing I've got to also give props to the staff here that did a wonderful job for opening weekend I mean Kudos to them, you know, for all they had to put up with today and go through uh, to get where they are. I mean, they did a wonderful job. So, signing out here from Kings Island, don't forget to hit that. I can't even talk. Here we had a good time. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to uh, follow us on YouTube and Facebook. Thanks for watching.